Okay, so I pack all I need to make great coffee outside into this bag. So let's do a final check. We need water, we need coffee, we need brewer, and we need also some cups to drink from. So we have everything. Of course, I'm bringing many more things to show you options, but let's first find a spot that is worth filming and drinking coffee. Let's go. This video is sponsored by Arabrass. Okay, so this is our car, let's jump in. I also brought my hiking shoes, just in case. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we asked our friend who is a big hiker in the area, what's the great spot to film this video? And his recommendation number one was Babylon, which would be a really nice small hike. So that's the plan, driving there right now. Okay, so we are here. Hiking shoes first. So we have also all we need to brew great coffee somewhere there. Let's go. Another very important tip you need to bring water for brewing but also for drinking because hikes like that require hydration. Ah, we can continue. Okay, so we are on the very top with a beautiful view all over the place and it's time to brew a cup of coffee and enjoy it with this view. Okay, before we start making coffee, let's talk about what you need to bring to brew great coffee outdoors and what are your options. Okay, so the first thing that you need when you want to make a coffee outdoor is water. And for that we brought two options, just water, cold water in a plastic bottle and uh, next step you need to heat it up. And for that we brought the, the simple camping kit, source of heat and uh, the kettle. So this is one option. Another option, if you are making a short trip and you know you will be making maybe one cup of coffee in a few hours, you can actually bring already warm water. So in this case we have this thermos. We heated up water to 100 degrees Celsius. I think it was like two hours ago and by now it should be still relatively okay. This is kind of like the nice insulated thermos. So especially if you are doing like uh, immersion brewing like in our press, that's perfectly fine. And it can be enough, you know, in uh, 12, even more hours. Next thing is coffee. One option is to have a bag of coffee. And you see, I didn't bring a full bag of coffee, but just a little bit because I knew that we'll be brewing only a, only one to three cup of coffee. So that's perfectly fine. I can roll it and it's more compact. So that's one option, but you need to have a grinder and eventually you might need to also weigh the coffee so your dose is correct. So another option here is to do some preparation. And the preparation you can do is to actually pre-dose the coffee, but also to pre-ground it. Especially if you are going on a short trip, you don't have a hand grinder or you don't want to bring it because it's you are traveling very lightweight and it's too much effort, too much weight. But it's really nice to have a freshly ground coffee because you can really enjoy the smell of it and it's kind of like the complete coffee experience for me. So for that reason, if I don't want to bring a full bag of coffee, I can just pre-dose it again, like this 15 grams of coffee. We are using this uh, Commandant uh, uh, polymer jars, which are kind of nice and robust, but you can use also kind of like any anything else, like the small bag, or what I find quite nice is also like these kind of like the packs that can carry up to 20 grams. So it's up to you. I think this is quite a nice option. There is another thing and that's scale. If I'm brewing coffee outdoor, I don't really care about grams or milligrams or like the, that much precision. But I mean, some of you are really geeks. So for that, I usually carry, I carry small scale like this one. It's kind of, uh, I think the originally like jewelry scale. It's really kind of nice, compact. It's kind of fits almost everywhere. So. That's kind of the preparation, that's the coffee part. But if you are bringing whole beans, you need to have some grinder. You know, for this tree, because we want to show you, we actually brought three grinders. So there is uh, this one. 
is the first kind of portable hand grind that we start using when traveling and it was very and still is very popular it's Porlex Mini and it's popular because it's very lightweight it has a, at the time reasonable grind quality and another thing that was so popular and what what so so many people ask for when there is any new grinder on the market so it it kind of fits to the AeroPress and so it's uh, how you can eventually save the space and make it even more compact uh, coffee traveling kit. What came next? Next came Commandante C40. Commandante C40 um, is here. This is the one of the latest models actually. It's a beautiful one. It's, it's much more heavy, obviously much more powerful much better grind distribution but it's also really nice object it's not very fragile but it's like the object that you don't just want to throw into the bag and go hiking or or, or biking or whatever so uh, for the reason like we actually carry it now with this like the bag that is both protection and and i can i can put my, many more things inside or there is like the there is this special sleeve that i have at home i, I forgot to bring it to this trip so this is kind of like you like it, it's not cheap, so you want to protect it. So it's like, a, it's not that like perfect for, for the hiking. So there is a, the third grinder that we brought. And that's uh, the latest grinder from Commandante. It's called the Trailmaster. And this kind of design really with uh, being outdoor and brewing coffee outside, it's much more lightweight, uh, the material is very robust. There is like this cup on top that makes it water resistant and we'll be, I think, using this grinder today. So there is, uh, there is obviously brewing and we didn't bring that many options, even though there are many options on the market and it, anything can be, wants to be a portable and, and travel friendly, but I mean, our most common uh, uh, choice is the AirPress, and this is the original AirPress that we travel a lot with. You, you see how, how it's used. So that's the one coffee brewer that we've been traveling a lot over the years. And this is the kind of the not latest, but it's it's already been for it's been on the market for a few years. It's AirPress Go, which was again like similar to Trailmaster, was uh, designed with a kind of a coffee outdoor experience in mind to have some nice features for this filming actually today. I brought not only uh, paper filters, but AirPress just released the new metal filters made by AirPress. So that's actually quite interesting alternative for camping. And I will probably keep one there always, even though I prefer paper filters. It's really nice to have a backup solution and metal filters, that's the backup solution for me. <laughs> okay, fourth thing that I want to talk about is the caps that you can use when traveling and making coffee outdoors. And these are kind of the, you know, the regular travel mugs. What I already mentioned is this really nice uh, cup that comes with the AirPress Go. We use it actually also as a carafe because this tip is kind of nice to actually share or, or, or pour coffee into multiple cups, which again is a uh, little tricky because with AirPress you don't really bring, you don't really brew like that huge amount of coffee, but still is really nice. And the last thing that, we can maybe call it heck even it's quite nice and we it's kind of the new thing that we we learned and these again are these uh commandante jars which when once you use these 15 grams of coffee you can use it as a cup as well and it's uh because of the material use it's actually quite nicely insulated so we we had a few cups of coffee recently in milan and it's it's quite cool so that's kind of interesting alternative if you don't have a cup with you now that you know all you need to make coffee outdoors, we are going to show you two brewing methods. First, we will use the AeroPress, and second, we will try something called cowboy coffee. Let's start with the AeroPress. Okay, so now it's time to brew coffee. The first step is to heat up the water. Okay, so while water is heating up, I can uh, grind my coffee. I have 15 grams pre-weight, and I will be using my uh, Trailmaster grinder. Okay, about to be boiling. Just it's time to prepare the air press. We really don't brew with the boiling water, but I mean, outdoors is still the easiest. Identify that uh, water is ready and we are brewing usually light roasty coffee, which anyway requires high temperature. And we are almost there. Our air press go. 
we have the metal filter here but I'm still the fan of the classic paper filter and ooh, <laughs> water is ready I will be using the inverted method uh, which I think is better when brewing outdoors because it gives you more influence over the brewing parameters so if your water is not hot enough you can keep the coffee there for longer I will not be using any timer here I will just go by intuition by look just pour it there quickly try to saturate all the coffee as I'm pouring paper filter and I think coffee might be ready to be pressed through so and it's done we'll pour into our legendary European coffee trip mug and I will try what I told you Comandante Charles Oh, you're ready. Well done. Now, let's brew cowboy coffee. Okay, so the other way how you can brew coffee outdoor is the way that you actually don't need any brewer. You just need a kettle, heat up the water, and once you have a hot water, you pour ground coffee inside, stir it, and basically wait. Then the grounds go down, and eventually you can help with the, with the spoon, take some, some sediment out, and you just pour it and share it with your friends and enjoy the cup. So first it was a little bit more bitter than, than in the Yarpest, but now it's kind of like nice, more rich, a little bit more bitterish, but still sweet, full body coffee, really. I mean, I'm surprised. So this is legit way of making coffee. If you have a good coffee, if you have clean water, if you have a good grinder. Okay, so we are at the end of the day and also at the end of this video. We show you how to brew coffee outdoor with air press and cowboy coffee. Let us know what's your favorite method and what's your favorite spot because it really matters. It's about the place you choose and the people you choose to brew coffee and drink coffee with. So thanks for watching and see you soon in the next video. Bye bye.